Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Wedding Wednesday and also Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to you all. I hope you've all had a nice day so far or you're planning on having a nice evening. But today I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of a haul slash DIY because I've got some new stuff that I want to show you for our wedding and also a little bit of a DIY I've done throughout the week that I've also recorded and really wanted to show you what I did. But first of all, I'm going to show you the things that I've bought recently. But if you're new here and you were wondering what's going on, then every Wednesday up until our wedding, Day. I'm going to be doing a wedding related video so if you are new and you've just stumbled across this video then do hit subscribe so you don't miss the other ones. If you're new just hit the subscribe button it's completely free it's just like following me over here on YouTube. But anyway without further ado I'm going to get on and show you the bits that I've bought recently. Now in fact this one isn't a recent purchase but it's something I did want to show you and it's our wedding invitations. Now I'll just show you here. This is the actual invitation. It comes in a little envelope and it's like a lace sort of like laser cut invitation. But these are from eBay and I know that they look really expensive. They look like quite expensive invites because they are laser cut. For how many I needed I only actually paid £50. So I'll leave a little link to that website because I found them so easy to use. And they also done these little selection things inside for me for the meal. Yeah I really love this eBay seller. I will leave them linked if they're still doing them. But yeah love these. Thought they were really nice and they're like a kind of pearlescent card. I'll just show you the front of it a bit more close up. So yeah they're really really pretty. Pearlescent cards and then they've obviously got our names in the front of them the date of the wedding and then it'll have the people's names inside on up on the flap at the top and then all the details of our wedding. Next up I'm going to show you my wedding jewellery. I'm not going to put it on but I will show you it. First of all it comes in this absolutely gorgeous box. This is from a company that are actually Glasgow based and they're called Crystal and Pearl and they're a bridal boutique. They do the most amazing wedding jewellery and also some little hair accessories as well so I will show you the bits that I've got. I've got a couple of hair slides for Ella because I thought I could maybe work these into her hair and they're just these gorgeous Pearl and Diamante little hair slides. I don't know how we're going to work these in maybe throughout some braids but they're just absolutely gorgeous. I've got two of these and I've got like pearlescent little leaves on them as well. I just thought they were so so girly and so cute but yeah I'll show you them kind of slid into here because you don't really get to see them as nicely but they are just absolutely stunning and so glittery. So I've got these for Ella to work into her hair. And now for the main event we've got my necklace. Now how absolutely gorgeous and glittery is that? It is absolutely stunning. Someone actually said to me one of their biggest tips for your wedding day is do not wear anything like this. It's got like a pendant because first of all it can go out of place and look a bit sort of like offset and also because the clip can sometimes spin round and that would be really annoying in wedding pictures. But I thought something like this would be perfect. It just sits so nicely. I'm obsessed with it. It's very, very glitzy. But yeah, love this so much. I will leave it linked for you if I can find it on their website. But yeah, love this. And also have the matching earrings, which are just here. They are absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with them. They are so glitzy. And I cannot wait to wear them on the day. I just think they are absolutely stunning. And so glitzy and feminine and just very much me. So yeah, love these. Love the necklace. And I cannot wait to wear them on the day and probably after them for when I'm feeling a bit bougie. I just wear my fancy wedding earrings. <laughs> I just thought I would show you their card as well so you can see some of the things actually styled. It's just so, so nice. Now before I actually discovered Crystal and Pearl, I went on to eBay to try and get a hair vine. And I must admit I do like this. It's still really pretty but... I don't know if I'm going to use it, definitely not in my hair anyway, but maybe throughout my bridesmaid's hair. But it's just this massively long, big, huge hair vine. I see loads of pictures in Pinterest where people have this like worked into a French braid. But I think I paid about £8 for this, but it's absolutely massive. Really, really good value for money. It's got pearls on there and also little crystals. So if that's something you like to even just mess about with, even not for weddings, even for things like communions and stuff, just really, really nice and also good for like little crafty things. Really, really pretty and it's also quite full as well. The only thing is, once I did put this into my hair, once I've had it done on my trial, I could not get it out without messing my whole hair up. So yeah, if you're going to wear a hair vine, it's quite a big decision to make because you're then choosing to just not take it out for the rest of the day without messing the rest of your hair up. Okay, still on glitzy things, I have this, which you might have seen on one of my recent vlogs. Our dog Lola's actually going to be our ring bearer, so I've got her this really fancy lead. I've not got a collar yet, but I will go and get her one, probably something like cream, so we can put flowers in it. But I got her this really nice, pearlised little lead. And 
and it's from Amazon. It came like next day delivery on Prime, but I thought that was really, really nice. Just exactly what I needed. I think it was like eight pounds or nine pounds. It wasn't even that expensive. But obviously, I wouldn't use this on like a day to day. If I could get away with it, I would. But it's not strong enough, obviously, in case she was to pull. But yeah, I think that's really nice, especially for the kind of occasion that we're doing. But yeah, Lola's little lead. Now I am really excited about the next thing. Although I thought I'd made the concept up myself. I honestly thought that I'd come up with this idea and that no one had really thought about it before but apparently it's an actual thing that people do and to the point where Fujifilm have made an actual box set with the things that I'm talking about so yeah I wanted to do like an Instax wedding guest book and I thought I just made this up in my head and I thought wow it's an amazing idea that's definitely going to make you millions you should just push that and try and make something out of it but no Fujifilm have been ahead of me and I got this so this is the Instax 300 wedding gift set. It comes complete with the Instax camera, some pictures for the photo reel and also your guest book. It actually tells you on the side what's in it. So inside it, it's got the Instax camera 300, the close-up lens, the premium ivory guest book, 60 shots of Instax wide picture format film, 250 invisible photo mount and a ballpoint pen. So I've not actually opened this up yet, so I might open it up just now just to show you what is inside. Now I actually got this from John Lewis and I must admit it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but what I thought it would be really good for is the fact that people are going to actually use it. Now what is the point in buying a 30 pound or even cheaper than that? What is the point in buying a guest book and no one uses it? It's absolutely pointless. And plus, it's not even that, at weddings, by the end of the night, people can't even speak properly. <laughs> Never mind leave you a note. Normally if they've had a good drink, there is no way they can even string a sentence together, so how can you expect them to write you something? So anyway, I'm just talking about my and daddy's wedding, right? You sit up here. Right, so inside we've got a guest book, which I'll just show you. It's like an ivory guest book, and it's nice and small, so you want to hold that for me? And then we also have the Fujifilm camera, which is pretty wide. Now this one is actually quite nice because it's like the original one. It's not like anything too fancy. It's like a proper vintage style Instax camera. So yeah, really, really good. Plus you can also put this on a tripod, which I actually might do, because it makes it easier. I can't pick it up, it's gonna fall. Careful. <laughs> Crazy girl. We've also got a little white pen, and inside there are loads and loads of the film. So yeah, really good. It's 150 pounds on John Lewis. I actually had a gift card to use, so I used a gift card, so I never paid the full 150 I think I paid £50. You're such a rich snubbler. <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody what you're going to do with the flowers at Mummy and Daddy's wedding? What are you going to do with them? You're going to hold them nicely and go... Do, 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 do. <laughs> you're going to go and practice. Bye. <laughs> Crazy girl. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that is my camera. I'm not crazy. You are crazy? No. Okay, you're not crazy. So anyway, that is the camera. I think that'll be really good and it'll be nice to look back on everyone's pictures once they've stuck them in the guest book and then they might write a wee comment or sign it or something. So yeah, really looking forward to looking at that after the wedding day and seeing everyone else's take on the day and see like moments that we just wouldn't ordinarily see on our day. Now the next thing I got were these little Tolsby frames. You would have seen me haul them probably a couple of weeks ago and they are from Ikea. They are like 90 pence. They're so, so cheap. But I actually sprayed them in this gorgeous sort of like white gold, sort of antique gold spray pen and I think it looks really nice. I've sprayed them and then as you can see I've written on in gold sharpie, use the hashtag and I've got a hashtag for our wedding because again I really want to just collect all the pictures that people take from our wedding day so if they upload them on Instagram and then use our wedding hashtag I've already checked there's no pictures on that hashtag it means I can check everyone's pictures from our wedding day and actually see what everyone got up to so yeah I really like this idea. I've got 10 of these for just dotting about the tables and throughout the day only thing being, it's really nice the way that that looks like on the camera with the light, but sometimes I don't think that the words are very clear. Yeah, sometimes you can't see the writing that great, but what I've actually done is I've gone online and ordered some stickers, and I've also got another one of these Perspex films. So I've only used one, it comes with two on each frame. And what I'm going to do is use the stickers that I've made up, they just basically say use the hashtag with an Instagram logo um, and then the hashtag that I've actually picked. So these are like clear stickers that I've got with just the writing on them. So they're completely transparent apart from the writing. And I'm going to stick them on each of these. I do like how that looks. It's nice and kind of rustic, but it's just not exactly what I was looking for. So although I'm pleased with them, I'm looking forward to the stickers coming. I think I paid £15 for the stickers, but they 
literally fit exactly perfect to the frames. And that was my DIYs. I'm now going to cut off and show you how I did that. Thank you for tuning in for another wedding Wednesday and please make sure that you hit subscribe so you don't miss next week's because there's a lot of fun stuff coming your way. Make sure you also follow me on my other social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and yeah, see you next week guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!